Eye on things now. That's what doctors here in Rhode Island are saying that they are now doing after a recent uptick in coronavirus cases. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Providence outside the Department of Health. And Brandon, these doctors say this increase is expected. Right. Well, both of these doctors essentially saying with more of the economy reopening, they're not surprised by the increase, but they also admit how much of an increase we see is really going to be key here. Right now, Rhode Island overall is seeing a downward trend in these new positive cases. That is why Governor Gina Raimondo says she's been comfortable moving into phase two. But the latest numbers from the Department of Health show a slight increase in new cases recently. In fact, 102 were reported yesterday. That compared to 68 new cases on Wednesday and 41 the day before that. And yesterday, the first time the state has reported more than 100 new cases in a day in the past five days. Other states are experiencing a similar increase, but doctors locally tell us that they are watching these numbers closely. With the restrictions relaxing, it's, it's really easy for us to relax. It's just human nature. We want life to go back to normal, but it is, it is still a very active infection. But if we continue to see that, it's a real concern uh, that we're not following the guidance around wearing masks, keeping distanced, uh, and the things that we know can uh, uh, prevent spread of the disease. And look at this. It's our track cases page. You can find it right now on WPRI.com. Target 12 has compiled all of the data, made it really easy to understand here. So you can look at the number of cases and hospitalizations by city or even by zip code. Now that track cases page gives you a snapshot of how this virus has affected both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. It is updated daily. Live in Providence, Brendan Truitt, Eyewitness News.